was the evening of his resurrection. Jesus comes and stands amongst his disciples and he says to them, why are you troubled? And, and why do doubts rise in your heart? See my hands and my feet that it is I myself. Sometime later near his ascension, Jesus gathers his disciples onto a mountain. St. Matthew says that when they saw Jesus, they worshiped and they doubted. So even the apostles had doubt. Doubt is not unbelief. Doubt is, I have faith, but I also have questions because some things are just hard to believe, just too good to be true. Jesus died, and the reality that he is living again, that was hard to comprehend. The disciples had doubt. The solution to doubt is Jesus, who comes with his body and his blood his hands, and his feet. That is what puts a doubting heart at ease. Now, since Jesus has ascended to the Father, we don't see him the same way that the disciples saw him. That doesn't mean that Jesus doesn't still come to us to put our doubts to rest. He comes in a different way now. He comes to you in the words of the Scriptures the true events of the Bible that are as we hear and read them. He comes to you in the preaching and teaching of your pastor, his called servant. He comes to you with the absolution, which declares your sins are forgiven in heaven and on earth. He comes to you in the waters of holy baptism to unite you to him. He comes to you in the supper, with his body and his blood, and unites himself to you. These are his promises, which he cannot break. As real as Jesus standing there on that mountain with his disciples, alive after he had died, even more real is Jesus in his word and sacraments. Are you looking for a solution to doubt? Don't look to yourself for your answers. Look to Jesus. Look to his word, look to his forgiveness, look to holy baptism, look to the Lord's Supper. Jesus is the answer to doubt.